Hello viewers. It has become time once again to replace the cartridge in my printing machine here. This is a Brother MFC 7360N. It's been a fantastic printer over the years. I've had it for a long time now. And this is actually only the second cartridge I've had in the machine. The original cartridge, which was a TN420, printed just shy of 1,500 pages, and I replaced it in 2016 with the cartridge that's in there now, which is a TN450, which claims to print 2,600 pages. I didn't get anywhere near that. I only got about 1,700. Interestingly enough, the 420 only claims to print 1,200, and I got way more than that. So, I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, I just did a test print here. And you can see the quality, it's not the greatest. Now this, this would be fine for my personal usage because, I mean, I can read that without a problem. But I do print a lot of barcodes, you know, for, like, for shipping labels and such. And I'm concerned that it's going to screw up, you know, when people are trying to scan it. So, I could probably keep using this cartridge. It's been saying it's low for a long time. I could probably keep using it, but I'm going to change it out. So... I went on the internet and I did some pricing, I made some graphs, and I found some generic cartridges on eBay, and the whole box cost $26.99, shipped to my front door, and it came with four cartridges claiming to print 2,600 pages each. So that would give me a total of 10,400 claimed pages for just shy of $30. That works out to be $6.75 per cartridge for a grand total of $0.003 per page, which is next to nothing. The original Genuine Brother cartridge, the TN450, which is the higher yield of the two, retails for about $54 and claims to print 2,600 pages and that gives us a grand total of two cents per page which really isn't all that bad and the brother TN420 which is what it came with which is the lower yield of the two cartridges available that one goes for approximately thirty nine dollars and that gives us a grand total of three cents per page which again is not all that unreasonable so I took a gander and I bought this generic set of four cartridges because I figured even if they don't print anywhere near what they claim, which is probably going to be the case for a few different reasons, I still think it's a better deal. Because honestly, even if all four of these cartridges print even 1,500 pages, it's still a better deal. So, if they're an astronomical fail, they may still be a better deal. So, I want to mention something about this, uh, the claim pages because it's very misleading if you look at any of the I think I closed them all out but if you look at any of the um, uh, I'll, I'll get one back uh, TN450 if you look at the claimed page numbers where is it here Okay, so as usual, whenever it makes a claim, there's a little notation next to it saying, Oh, this is not totally accurate. We're lying. So, let's scroll down to wherever it has the numbers. One, there it is again. Okay, here we go. Um, ISO, well, I don't know whatever that means. But anyways, usually the, when they make this claim, it's 5% coverage on the page. Now... Um, this is approximately, well not that, this this part is approximately 5% coverage. Now, I, I don't know, maybe people do this, but I've never printed out a document that's half. You know, when I print something out, it's a full document like this. This is claimed to be about 30% coverage. So, the bottom line is, you're never going to get what they claim, because... You don't print minuscule amounts like they estimate. You, you know, 
Nobody prints 5% coverage on a page. I don't know what happened here. I can't explain that, but generally speaking, the results are more like the second one where you don't get anywhere near what they claim. So, let's look at these graphs here. So, for $54 for the TN450, we get approximately close. Supposedly, we get 2,600 pages. For the 420, for $39, we get $1,200. And for the $27 for the generic set, we get over 10,000 pages. Another visual representation, this is the cost per page. You can see, again, the generic cartridge is way below the other two. Um, so anyways, let's actually get this thing installed. And I have some things I want to print. And we're going to see how this works. It may not work at all. It may work fantastic. I honestly have no idea what to expect. So, let's get this realigned here. Here's our generic cartilage. And there's no tape or anything sealing it shut, which is not a good sign, but is what it is. It looks like it's sealed inside anyways. Installation manual. I don't need that. I've been so hundred of these things. Yep, this is definitely sealed. Okay. And here's the cartridge. Open up my machine here and get the old one out. So here's the Genuine Brother TN450 cartridge. See it right there. And we're going to go ahead and pull this out. You're supposed to shake these before you put them in. I don't know if that's just a conspiracy or if it actually makes it work better. I couldn't tell you. Um, I see a difference there. I don't know what that does. But uh, it looks like it's physically going to fit inside the unit. So let's go ahead and put it in. Let's see what happens. I have my doubts about this for sure, but as always, I try to remain open minded, so I'm going to give it a chance. All right, well. Um, let's see what it says here. It should no longer say replace toner. Oh, brother, it still says toner low. Oh, you know what? Wait, does it say it anymore? No, it doesn't say it anymore. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and print out that same test page I printed before. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, should print any minute now. There it goes. Alright, so let's take a look at these two. So this is the old one. And here's the new one. That's actually pretty good. Alright, so it definitely works. So I think it's just a matter of how long is it going to hold up. If I can get another 1700 pages out of this new cartridge, 
This is so cheap it's a steal. So I gotta print a big document here, like 50 something pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and print that, and then we'll see what it looks like after I do a bunch of printing. Okay, so I just printed an 88 page document. And I know she didn't break, so that's a good sign. Let's take a look at the quality. The papers are not lined up, but that's not the fault of the cartridge. So let's see here. Now this Ironically enough, this printed about 5% coverage. <laughs> oh, that's not how I wanted this to print out. Oh well. But, it looks like... I mean, the quality is fine. Yeah, I, the quality is not bad. Um... I have no complaints about this at all. Let's take a look at under the light. That's a perfectly reasonable quality. Well, I have no complaints with it so far. Went through this whole document, which is 88 pages, and even on the last page, it's just as clear. It doesn't seem to be deteriorating at all. So, it's going to take me a very long time to go through um, uh, this cartridge, assuming it works correctly. You know, because looking at my my chart here. I only printed 1,700 pages between the beginning of 2016 and the beginning of 2019. So, it's going to be a long time before I come back and check in on this cartridge. But, I will do that at some point. So, until then, this seems like a good cartridge. <laughs>